Starship 36 just blew up on the test stand, but what actually happened? The very first frame of the incident shows a white cloud emerging from the payload bay, which SpaceX confirmed was a nitrogen gas COPV. That stands for Composite Overwrapped Pressure Vessel. This is a metal bottle wrapped in carbon fibre that's used to store high pressure gas. Think something on the order of 300 to 400 bar, and there are several of these located inside of that nose cone. This failure likely caused the internal transfer tubes, the pipes which allow the propellant stored in the header tanks to reach the engines at the bottom of the ship, to split open, causing an uncontrolled mixture of liquid methane and liquid oxygen. This is where the first of two visible explosions occur. The first explosion likely caused the main propellant tanks to weaken to the degree where they could no longer hold their own weight, resulting in the uncontrolled mixture of the main liquid methane and liquid oxygen tanks. At the time of the anomaly, the oxygen tank was at full capacity, while the methane tank was around 10%, give or take. This is the normal load amount for a static fire test, what SpaceX was trying to do that night. What followed was the second, much larger explosion, as 1,200 tonnes of oxygen and methane combusted to create the biggest fireball seen in Starbase in half a decade. 